This is Alan, and um, I'm not going to do one of all 50 suggestions. Um, this is sort of a line run, so I haven't fished for a seed, I haven't fished for anything. We're just going to see how far I can go, and hopefully, this works as a guide for you. I think everyone. Here should be very easy to do a fairly delivery. And the beginning is sort of the hardest part because we don't really have a lot going for us. When getting base health is the most important aspect early on because the regeneration we are getting from food is super central. So this really helps. We can of course manage um, the things that we really are not going to need. I'm also not going to manage the katana because well, Katana is very good in this mode. Um, it's not going to do more damage than the range of the weapons. I've tested this before. If I got a solid set of three range of weapons going in this mode in particular, you're not really going to get much mileage out of a Katana, which is usually one of the best boss killers. Mostly because, well, the bosses are going to die before they get close to you. Um, the first boss is much more dangerous than the second boss. So this is hard of night and that's just useless. The first stage is one of the ones that feel close, it's like you're almost gonna die all the time. Uh, be sure to get a maximized projectile speed. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can manage all those things, they're just uh, pretty much not great. There are many reasons to not prioritize projectiles, especially early on. And one of them is because the crossbow, if you start with the crossbow, um, it's going to miss because it's sort of slow and you can't afford missing anyone. If you sort of deadly among the edge rates. <laughs> You will always survive. Trade off is a bit of a um, mixed bag. We really want additional projectiles for this mode. But at the same time, we do need a deck speed. Usually, I do not like the uh, The cards set off are any sort of trade off, not just the one main trade off. No, not that it's full Oh, nice. Um, usually you're gonna get flashed at some point during the first stage, like I've played this a bunch of times and every time I've seen flash showing up. But just for the interest of fairness, so let's skip it for now and get another trade-off. Maybe this was a good sound, it's like a lucky run if I get fl uh, flash right now. But usually you are going to get flash somewhere or later. Yeah. 
See how projector is it really helps getting rid of the super fast threads and all of that. Oh, this here is part of six. Which now fishing for uh, not really going for critical here. I mean, if you can go for critical in yeah. this, it's not a bad idea. It kills bosses really fast in this moment. So at this point we do have um okay help. Um, can't say we are like a mortal or anything, but we are on a pretty good one. If we had a uh, big flash, then yeah, I would say that we already were ready for uh, whatever came up. Um, I would say that we were pretty much sad for the entire one, including the second boss. You see that I'm not really thinking too much when I'm getting the cards that do not offer any trade off. Like perfection is just a good card to have. The other choice for this last time, for example, was compromise, which is a nice card to have as well. But you know, it's one of those trade off cards. So this here, for example, this is a great card, but it's still a trade off. It looks pretty really good in this mode. So it really depends on whether you feel comfortable and have a this amount of attack speed or not. Now, personally, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable and I feel like we still have a lot of cards to get to increase our attack speed, so... Of course, you can approach this mathematically. Situation. Projectile has high sensitivity and the rate of 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 catch really the fast enemies or otherwise you couldn't. I'm gonna take compromise because the way it's the base damage and all the tainted cards. Uh, the base damage tainted card is one of the best cards in the game. Like for real, not even joking. It's just one of the best cards. And in the small since we don't really have to worry about big up ranges, then it's a no brainer. Sort of okay as far as uh, our weapons go, so we have a lot of defenses, so we still need something else. So we got a sword break, and I'm gonna pick it next time.
I notice that I'm not going to dodge anything, but I'm going to dodge anything. And I love this one. Oh, why is it so annoying? I was pretty sure that I wouldn't be able to dash and do anything. Multiple projectiles is an absolute piece by them, especially if you are relying on the projectiles. Of course, stuff like Death Aura is nice, but I feel like Death Aura and Fire in this mode in particular, you're not as strong as the others, where you can sort of hug yourself and walk super fast, especially after the select wave, where you can um, just keep moving faster and faster. In this mode, you really can't. You need to wait for things to get to you. And uh, with the attack speed and the projectile speed, you will be killing things much, much faster, which in turn will get you a lot of experience. You also don't need to wait for things to have the chance to get to you. Oh, cursed belt. So, of course, this is a terrible idea here. Well, let's do something funny. Let's take cursed belt just for the fun of it. <laughs> Look at this now. This is spicy, right? Now we need to actually be careful. Do we want this? Sure, why not? I'm gonna save for the last shot. This is good, and this time I'm not gonna skip this. I know I skipped flash before, but we're now giving ourselves a handicap. <laughs> Look at our health. It's very funny. I wonder if we can get a uh, troll region. Oh, it's funny. So now we're at such a significant advantage because we do not have enough defense to take the barrage. And ideally, I would like to be at least 5,000 health. But we sort of traded health before negative regeneration returns. And amazing thing. This is also one of the advantages of projectiles in this mode. As you can see, we have a lot of monster skill. On one hand, we have flies, on the other hand, we have bow, which is something that I really want. Um, let's be daring and let's take the bow and not flash. So, again, yeah, I'm not going to make things harder for me. Just for fun. I think flash will show up again before I um, the boss. And a sword ring, sure, why not? Why don't we have a little bit too many levels? I like to say a three. Um, in general, I just like this mode, otherwise, we spend way so much uh, way too many levels on cards, but just don't have them. So in this case, I think it's fair.
right now. This is fine. Take this, or like I said, I told you we'd get this before. Um, and uh, let's, let's just stick to the hard one. Even though we took several poor choices, really bad decisions in this run, we did have Sage Speed. If we did not have Sage Speed, then I would have taken Flash. Um, this just goes to show that uh, even without the most important card in this mode, you can still get by based on you know, the stuff that we managed to find. This is a lot of chess long. Well. I'm not sure if this is the most amount of chess you can get, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Dangerous. That was so much life. Thank you. 
Interesting challenge with that here, isn't it? So how far can we go? Are these circles in this Or a flash to go from the best car to the the back is But at the same time, we don't really want to have to do, like, we don't really want to stay too much. Oh, wouldn't this be funny? Thank <laughs> you. 
15 suggestions with the worst set of ideas possible. Um, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. Um, anything? <laughs> Thank you for watching.